Hello folks, today I'm going after M27, the Dumbbell Nebula, and I'm going to capture it in HA and oxygen because the moon is still out, and I've already tried this object in RGB, and I saw some cool pictures with it in HA and oxygen, so I want to give that a shot, see what it looks like. And right now, I'm actually, I've already captured 35 frames a bay chain. I'm on the oxygen right now. Nine. I've done nine out of thirty-five for that. The mean readout, nine eleven. And let's take a look at a single raw image. HA comes off for everything, but it's oxygen is hit or miss. You never know if, if it's going to turn out. Oh, another uh, picture just came through. But this object definitely has a lot of uh, oxygen in it, so that's cool. So it should be easy to work with. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, let's take a look at my guiding while I've got you here. 0.79. Let's clear this out. 0.78. That's not too bad. Let's see. Point seven eight again. Yeah, it's staying in that range. I guess I'll have to live with that. Okay, I'll be back. Hello, everyone. It's the next day, and I ended up capturing 35 frames of HA and 25 frames of oxygen, and then the clouds rolled in. So uh, 35 and 25 at 3 minutes each, that's 3 hours total integration time. And let's see, this is what popped out. And... I think it looks cool. I don't know if you can see all the details in the video, but I put a I'll put a link in my description to Astro. But it looks it, it really looks cool. And what I did is I put I put HA in red, oxygen in blue, and I divided green between uh, oxygen and HA, fifty percent each. Now I. I I don't know what other people do, but I thought it would be interesting to try that. I kind of made that up. I didn't really follow anyone's example there. And I like the results. You know, when you're playing around with narrowband, um, you're not really going for, for true color. You can pretty much experiment the way you want. And this is what I captured a couple months ago. This is broadband, which some might, maybe some people might, consider if it's RGB, it's more true color. But the, the, the fun stuff with narrowband is you see lots of extra detail that I normally can't see with broadband. Uh, maybe, you know, when you're in a light polluted area like, like I am, a, a red zone, it's, it's just a lot more fun to work with narrowband and especially with the moon still very bright. So I, I, I like the way this one on the right looks a lot better. And it was just more fun to work with and play around with. So, anyway, that's what I've got. All right, just three hours of data. I think I want to move on to something else. It's supposed to be clear again tonight. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on my next target. But, anyway, thanks for listening. I'll see you later.